Hello, and welcome to yet another wonderful Weekly Wacky Wednesday video. As always, to start this week's video is my Weekly Wacky Wednesday video, Weekly Wacky Wednesday Word of the Week. So this week, the completely random Word of the Week is going to be, let's see, this week's word is going to be Wessler, as in Wessler. As in, you can tell that I'm a wrestler because I have about as much muscle as this guy does. You can't tell it because of this shirt. It's just an optical illusion. That's all. So now, for this week's Weekly Wacky Wednesday Video Week in Review. Today is December 22nd, 2010. And this morning in America, Obama is signing the Don't Ask, Don't Tell Repeal Act of 2010. Now, you might be thinking, this means change. Change we can believe in. But all it really means is now the military has to start enacting changes into their policy, which then once those are approved by the United States government, then they'll have 60 days to implement that, allowing gays to be open in the U.S. Army. So what that really means is we're still a few months away, but that's the United States government for you. Everything quick and speedy, just like a fair trial. So, this week I have two things to discuss. One you won't like too much, and the other is hilarious as always. So I'd like to start with a not-so-funny one, which is the month of January. I'd like to announce that I will not be doing the month of January videos, because for it I will be out of the country, around the country, with or without a computer. I don't really know. My plan is to record the videos, though, on those Wednesdays, and upload them in February when I have time and when I'm not traveling across Italy. So don't be too mad, I'm trying my best. So this week, now that the year is almost over, 2010, not school year, um, and I've done my laundry several times, I'd like to discuss the perfect way to do the least amount of laundry without anyone noticing that you're wearing the same clothes over and over again. First of all, just get a bunch of packets of undershirts that are all a few basic colors. I happen to have gray, white, and blue. And then, or you just really need one package, three shirts. That's all you need. You just wear them all each day, and you just tell people, yeah, you know, I just only have three colors of shirts, that's all. No one can even tell if you've worn this. How do you know that I haven't worn this ten times already? As long as I don't spill anything on it, it's perfectly clean. And when I say clean, I mean get a bottle of Febreze, because that's how you're cleaning them. It's a good way to save money. And also the same with shorts or pants. Buy a bunch of the same ones, wear them over and over again, no one will even know. In fact, I think it's been around a year and a half since I last washed this shirt. You know how much water and money I'm saving? It's just the best possible thing to do. And no one has to know. But that's all for this week. Um, not really too happy about that January thing, are you? Well, check in next week for the last video of 2010, which will be of epic proportions, one might say. So, see you then, have a good week, and stay wacky, San Diego.